Today's social media segment is brought to you by Terrebonne General Health System. Your health is our legacy. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. Broussard's Automotive Repair and Tires, your trusted destination for automotive excellence in Homa. We proudly feature the ASC certified expertise of our team with an ASC master certified mechanic always on duty. Locally owned and operated, Broussard's Automotive Repair and Tires is committed to ensuring your vehicle runs smoothly and safely. Our hours are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday and 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday. Broussard's Automotive Repair and Tires, quality service at a great price. Everybody, welcome back to Bite Time. Harry McCullough here. Uh, we have a very interesting story that's coming out of Lafourche Parish. It, it dovetails off of the Hurricane Ida situation, uh, but it has to do with some theft. So let's bring in Captain Brennan Mathern, the uh, Lafourche Parish Sheriff's Office Public Information Officer. Uh, Brennan, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, it, it all dovetails, I, I guess, from that, but but a pretty serious uh, allegation uh, of over fifty thousand dollars worth of jewelry, huh? Yeah, and one piece of jewelry, uh, a watch worth over 50000 In fact, uh, right around $53,000 is the appraised value, uh, according to uh, our investigation. Uh, and this all stems, like you said, from uh, before Hurricane Ida. And the story goes something like this. Uh, essentially, a resident uh, had a watch that was in need of repair and brought it to uh, Birdsall Jewelry and Gifts, owned by Thomas Birdsall, a 64-year-old uh, who is now living in uh, Metairie. And Birdsall ultimately took the watch uh, and, uh, you know, es essentially promised to either repair it or send it off for repair. And uh, that was before the hurricane. That was in the summer of 2021. Uh, and then obviously the hurricane hit in August. Well, sometime after the hurricane, uh, when the uh, resident came looking for uh, his watch, obviously, uh, you know, made contact with uh, the business owner um, and the business obviously never reopened after the storm, uh, made contact with the business owner and uh, ultimately had some contact with him. But uh, eventually the owner went back. I couldn't remember whether it was actually set off, sent off for repair or not or claimed that he couldn't remember. Uh, ultimately, he went back uh, to the store, collected whatever was left at the store that was still damaged by the hurricane, and then cut off all contact with the resident. Uh, so at that point, um, that's when the resident came forward uh, to us to start the investigation. Uh, and in dealing with us, uh, again, uh, Ms. Mr. Birdsall uh, was not cooperative in our investigation. And so ultimately that investigation led to our detectives obtaining a warrant for his arrest for uh, felony theft of the watch in this case. Uh, we put out a, uh, a warrant for his arrest and on May 31st, uh, Mr. Birdsall was arrested in Jefferson Parish uh, and eventually transported back to Lafouche. Uh, he was released on June 8th on personal recognizance and uh, he, uh, with, with the, uh, with the condition of electronic monitoring. So uh, he is still um, within our custody, so to speak, uh, with electronic monitoring. And our investigation is continuing, Harry. And quite frankly, uh, we, we expected uh, additional people to come forward. Uh, we have had additional people come forward. And uh, we expect that there could be several uh, other cases, uh, potential charges uh, involved in this case. Wow, uh, that, that's incredible. I mean, a well-known family, and you know anybody that knows that area down there in Galliano, I'm sure the customer brought that probably knew exactly, you know, the people he was the the you know that he was dropping his jewelry off with uh, the store. I mean, everybody kind of knows everybody uh, down around Galliano. So very interesting that you couldn't have cleared this up before an arrest, but the fact that he had to go was arrested and didn't just uh, turn himself in is also uh, says a little something too. As you start looking into more and more, is it is it more items like this from the storm where they couldn't find them? Or is it, I, I know jewelry stores over the past have had like where they'll take the jewel out and replace it with a different stone, those kind of things. Uh, do you know where this investigation is going from that? 
No, it, it's really too early to tell uh, ultimately where this is going. And, and thus far, we haven't uncovered any sense of fraud, so to speak, uh, in that case. Uh, this is the only investigation we've worked so far. Uh, like I said, just it, it hasn't even been 24 hours that the news uh, has been out there. So uh, we're still getting calls in. Those investigations are going to take place. Our hope is not necessarily to throw a bevy of charges at, at Mr. Birdsall. Uh, quite frankly, we just hope that we're able to assist these families in obtaining uh, this jewelry and getting back their jewelry, or at least getting some type of answer. Um, you, you know, based on social media comments, based on uh, rumors that we've heard, and just kind of anecdotal stories uh, about this since the storm, uh, we understand that a lot of people have lost some. In some cases, it might have been uh, just uh, you know valuable jewelry, but in in some cases, like. This particular watch, it's a family heirloom. And so uh, while the watch is, is valuable, uh, it's, it's probably invaluable to that family uh, that you can't really put a value on a, fairly, a family heirloom in, in those cases. So our hope is just to be able to find, uh, yes, some of this high price jewelry, but more importantly, some of these family heirlooms that may have, you know, the family may have thought have been misplaced or lost forever. Uh, hopefully we can, you know, uh, connect things. You know, Harry, this, this really resembles, um, you know, a contractor fraud case where, um, you know, someone does work for someone mm -hmm. uh, or, or they start the process, they, they pay a lot of money up front, and then uh, just because they, they've tried a lot on their own, and, and in some cases the contractors made you know had conversations, uh, but eventually those communications break down, and that's ultimately when when they come to us and we get involved. Um, so, like you said, hopefully we can resolve this uh, and, and we can find this jewelry and connect some of these jewelry uh, pieces to their owners. Uh, but at this point, it has resulted in Mr. Birdsall's arrest. And uh, going forward, we're going to continue to uh, pile on those investigations and, and try to see if we can't connect some of those pieces back to their proper owners. Yeah. And, and like I said, I mean, so the store is no longer there, right? I mean, obviously, a lot of things got turned upside down in, in Golden Meadow and Galliano after Hurricane Ida. They, they just shut the store down? And he retired? Was, the, the actual structure is still there. It is in very much so in disrepair. Uh, and uh, quite frankly, it, it is just kind of sitting there and, and there hasn't been any progress on the building. Uh, but yeah, essentially from our investigation, we learned Mr. Birdsall had actually gone there and removed, uh, I guess, anything of value that he could uh, right. out of there at some point after the storm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I mean, look, you know, it's, it's tough for anybody to lose a, uh, you know, a business, a family business all of those years. But obviously, yeah, you want to make sure that anybody that has a watch like that can get that back. So, uh, Brendan, we Sure, appreciate your update, man. Uh, thanks for keeping us informed. Yeah, and, and look, we, we'd love anybody else to come forward. Uh, you can do it as simply as sending us an email to info at lpso.net, and we'll be happy to uh, connect you to our detectives. All right, thanks so much, Brandon. We appreciate it. All right, we'll be right back with more Bite Time right after this. Today's social media segment is brought to you by Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. CIS, Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the highest quality cardiovascular care available. Barker Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. <laughs> 